The inability to conceive a baby or carry one to term can be heartbreaking for couples who want to become parents. But the number of couples who are already parents and are struggling to have a second child is on the rise. And as CBS 2's Andrea Fugie tells us, they experience the same anguish. <laughs> if someone says to me, you know, don't you want another one? I can never just smile and say yes. I say yes, I do. And we've been trying for years and it's really hard. Amy Rubel from Santa Monica gave birth to daughter Vivian three years ago. As soon as my daughter was born and I held her in my arms, my immediate first thought was, I want to do this again, like immediately. Amy was 41 years old when she had Vivian. She writes a blog called Carriage Before Marriage, explaining why she took her time finding the love of her life and why they're experiencing life's milestones out of order. We had a baby first and then we started planning our wedding. And all along, we've been trying to actually have another child because we're playing beat the clock with my, you know, biological timetable. But getting pregnant the second time around hasn't been so easy, and she has had to deal with the devastation of three failed pregnancies. I'm sort of becoming an early miscarriage pro. You know, I cry in the car. That's a good place for it. You know, you have a kid, you think, no reason I shouldn't be able to have another one, and then you just can't. Amy is experiencing what's called secondary infertility. It's when a woman has no problem having her first child, but experiences trouble either getting pregnant or carrying her child to term the second time. And doctors say secondary infertility is on the rise. Well, actually, in 1988, the incidence was estimated to be roughly 2.7 million people. In 2008, so 20 years later, it was 3.3 million people. So it's gone up. Well, 500, 600,000. For some, the reason is simply because women like Amy are waiting until they are older to start their families. But specialists also attribute problems to unhealthy lifestyles and complications with the first childbirth. If they had a, any kind of complicated pregnancy that could give rise to an infection, women who had a fever, high fever during labor and delivery requiring um, antibiotics. Experts encourage couples having trouble conceiving to see a fertility specialist who may be able to rule out problems, prescribe fertility medications, or alternative fertilization options like IVF. Jealous and frustrated, you know, why not me? Why, why is it so easy for them? Why is it so hard for me? Amy says doctors can't tell her whether or not her dream of having a second baby will come true. And keeping her frustrations to herself is tough. Moms who experience second, secondary infertility are caught between um, the people in their lives they know who haven't even been able to have one child. And you don't want to be complaining to those people because you know, you know how badly they want a child and you already have one. But Amy's discovered through blogging that there are many moms out there like her who feel the same. They need to give their only child a sibling. Most of all, I want my daughter to have someone that's always going to be there even after uh, her father and I are gone. Amy says the joy she gets from daughter Vivian eases her disappointment and gives both she and her fiance the motivation to continue trying. Soon my daughter will, will be big enough to ask me, when am I getting one of those? When am I getting a little brother or sister? And I would like to be able to say, oh, in about three months, that would be the answer I would like to give her. Once Amy shared her struggles with secondary infertility on her blog, nearly 80 moms like her wrote comments thanking her for bringing light to this subject.